today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the latest AMD GPU lineup. Now, it's been some time since we did an updated buyer's guide for AMD GPUs, so it is worth watch through to understand the current stack and how they perform. Now, before we take a look at the specific details of the cards in the stack, we should first address the elephant in the room. And that, of course, is supply issues and, in turn, pricing. The situation with the AMD cards is different to NVIDIA at the moment. Generally, there are models available to buy consistently on our website. That being said, though, it's the pricing that's sitting way over MSRP that will be the biggest frustration. And we have to stress that we do our best to get the best prices for our customers. There are loads of reasons for the high prices, but it's important to say that Scan is not artificially upping the prices of the cards that we sell. Our pricing always reflects the cost price from the supply chain, and it always has. And we're working extremely hard with both AMD and the brands to reduce the pricing wherever it's possible to do so. However, this could mean that based on your budget, you may need to look at a different model of AMD GPU than you'd originally planned on. So it's important to look at the performance you need versus the budget that you've got, rather than hanging on for the pricing to come down based on the original MSRP as it looks like the current situation isn't going to go away anytime soon and you could be enjoying a new GPU now rather than later. Now, before we take a look at the full lineup of the GPUs available, let's first take a look at the architecture and different technologies that AMD's added to make these GPUs a step up from the previous generation. The 6000 series GPUs are all using the RDNA 2 architecture, which has significant advancements in the form of an enhanced compute unit new visual pipeline and an all-new AMD Infinity Cache, enabling high-resolution gaming performance with vivid visuals. In terms of performance per watt, RDNA 2 sees up to a 55% increase over the original RDNA architecture, so the new chips are much more power efficient whilst providing superior performance at the same time. And on top of that is AMD's Smart Access Memory, which we've done a video on previously, so if you want to learn more about that, you can check it out on our YouTube channel. Plus, to make things even easier, we've linked it in the description below for you. To summarise though, in conventional gaming PCs, the CPU can only access a fraction of the graphics memory or VRAM at once, limiting system performance. AMD Smart Access Memory, which works when you combine a Radeon RX 6000 GPU with a Ryzen 5000 series CPU, the data channel gets expanded to harness the full potential of GPU memory, utilizing the bandwidth of PCIe to remove the bottlenecks and increase performance by up to 11%. And then there's AMD's Fidelity FX, which is an advanced upscaling rendering technique that increases frame rates in games. Fidelity FX allows you to ramp up the resolution to enjoy higher quality graphics without sacrificing performance. Fidelity FX supports over 70 games, with more being added all the time. And there are several Fidelity FX modes to choose from, allowing you to strike the perfect balance between quality and performance. Now, with all that information out of the way, let's take a look at the range. There are currently seven different RX 6000 GPUs available, and they're split into three different categories based on performance. There's high-end, mid-range, and entry-level. And when choosing an AMD GPU, the key things to look out for are the amount of stream processors and the amount of memory. The higher the stream processors count and the higher the amount of memory, then the more powerful the card. And this is crucial if you're wanting to run games at the highest quality settings and smoother frame rates, plus it offers the ability to run games in higher resolutions if that's something that you're after. We put together this graph that gives you a general overview of the range from the top of the line 6900 XT to the most recently announced 6500 XT, providing all the technical information such as stream processors, memory, as well as the clock speeds. Now, of course, it's quite difficult for us to just be able to advise you which card will be right for you without knowing your use case. Different cards will be able to provide different performance on a game-by-game -game basis. So, for example, if you're running a competitive game like CSGO, Valorant or Overwatch, you're less likely to need a top-of-the-line GPU as you won't typically be running these at the highest quality settings. However, if you're interested in games like Cyberpunk 2077, Far Cry 6 or Shadow of the Tomb Raider, then you'll likely want to play in all its glory with the settings turned up to the max. And this is where a higher-end GPU will come into its own. So we do recommend that you check out reviews or search for benchmarks based on your favourite games, as this will give you a great indication as to which GPU to go for. 
We do of course have a specific video for each GPU, which goes into more depth about the card from when it was released, which you can find again on our Scan Computers YouTube channel. But to give you a bit of an insight and to see just how the cards stack up against each other, let's take a look at some benchmarks in popular games. Once you've decided the GPU to go for, then it's simply a case of choosing which brand and model. Now, all of our tests shown are done with a reference GPU from AMD, but each manufacturer creates custom cooling solutions as well as different overclocking options. So although they seem to be created equal, many models actually allow you to squeeze even more performance out of them. And not only that, but each manufacturer also creates different designs. So if you've got a specific system build where let's say you want to go all out on RGB, then you'll be able to find a model that suits that. And on top of all of that, another thing to consider is the size of GPU that you can fit into your case. This is all something you can find out on the specification tab of each GPU on the website. Scan sells a full range of AMD GPUs from multiple brands, so be sure to have a good look through the website. And you can also make use of our handy comparison tool by clicking on a product, click compare, then do the same with a few chosen products, and they'll all appear side by side. So hopefully that's given you an insight and a better understanding of the AMD GPU range. If you'd like to read a written version of the buyer's guide, then we've popped a link to that below for you. And of course, there's a link there so you can quickly access the full range of AMD GPUs available from every manufacturer too. Or if you prefer us to do the hard work for you, then why not choose a pre-built system featuring the latest AMD GPUs and CPUs? You can check out our wide range of 3XS PCs by heading to the website scan.co.uk forward slash 3XS and from there you can shop by use and then specs or features. You can even use our site to configure your own PC and add customization with the custom shop. We hope you found this buyer's guide helpful. If you did, then be sure to give us a like. And if you want to enjoy more content like this, then make sure you subscribe to be notified of any new content we release.